All right, hi everyone, and welcome to part three of this mini tutorial series. And in this one, we'll be adding a slider variant on the console commands that we've been doing. So let's go into cons co command base. Uh, first, I want to change this to 11, make this a little bit smaller, like this. Sure, yes, time to get into the actual work. Control set. We need a slider in there, so let's just drag a slider in there. Now, what might be nice as well is to have text that tells you the value of the slider, so you don't need the output log open. And we can do editable text, so we can actually change it ourselves. Um, let's give that a default value of one. And let's make that like this. Yeah, that looks better. Let's add some spacers because I do like me some spacers. Create some distance between uh, all these things. Five. That's just, this is neat. I don't know if that changed recently, but uh, looks good. So we need to set this to fill. We don't. We can have that fill the entire thing. And now I think we can move on to. This is already editable text. That's we can call this text slider. So when the slider is changed on value change, I think that's fine. We will want to execute the console command. What about the? Did I just move it? I think I just moved it. Yeah. Let's move, let me move back. Sorry about that. Small pause. What about the text? We also want that on text changed or on committed. Well, let's go ahead with change. Doesn't matter. Now we need to convert this to a float. Mm. I thought you could change this to. A Okay, so we first have to convert it to a string and then we can convert it to a float. So yeah, as long as it works, right? It, this, uh, this works. Um, and then we, what, what do we do? Do we change the value? Yes, we get the slider and we do set value. I don't actually use this in uh, Aaron's adventure. We, I do use a lot of editor utility widgets and also for console commands, but I haven't really needed the slider yet. So this is, uh, I'm kind of doing it as I go. We set the value and that would trigger, I think, on value change because it changes and then we can execute the next logic. I think I will go ahead and collapse this. Collapse node. Yes. And this will call checkbox changes. Now we'll need another branch if the checkbox is false, because you're not going to have a checkbox, a checkbox and a slider, we can control W checkbox and do slider. We'll add that in a new category called slider and we will drag that in here. If slider is false, then we do what we did all the way in part one and that's just execute console command. But otherwise, control W console command append like we did for um, the checkbox and another one I'm gonna add a space in here I think that's required I'm not sure but uh, better safe we will get the slider and we will get the value and we will enter that there now what else do we have to do we want to hide the slider of course if uh, so let's do a on the pre construct We'll actually do a sequence here. Oh, sequence equal hmm. and branch. If slider is true, then we will set the visibility. Same thing, basically. Set visibility of the slider but also the text of the slider, which doesn't have to be editable. No, that doesn't matter, that's fine. Yeah, so these two, collapsed or visible. What else do we want to do? I think we'll want a default value for the slider, I think. Set value. Oh, that's text, set value. And we'll do default slider. 
slider value, add that under slider, and we'll duplicate it twice, and we'll call the first one slider value minimal slider value max, and we'll set max to what do we do? 20, uh, minimal to zero. Yeah, I think that's okay, and we can do grab this slider reference set min value set max value min value max value and now we have all of that we need to make sure that it's all editable of course editable 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 default is zero let's put that to one and I think that that's it. No. On value changed, we want to go straight into here because otherwise it's not visible anyway. So, what was the example that uh, William Foucher used? It's R Shadow Virtual SMRT Ray Count Local. I already forgot what it did. I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to set slider to true. Value of 1. I'm going to call it ray count local and console command that's the console command i copied that from his uh, video description i'm gonna make this a little bit bigger yeah that's fine and now when we run the editor utility widget okay now when we save and compile the editor utility widget here we go now we forgot something important i think it's working let's have a look at our output log output log yeah, you can see it's working. It's it's uh, giving in all the values. We can actually set the um, min and max. But what we didn't do is update the text when we update the value. And now this is <laughs> this is going to be interesting because I just noticed that when we'll update the text, the text will change. So we'll get a an infinite loop, and the whole thing will probably come crashing down. Uh, so. What is the best way to go about this now that, now that I'm having a look at this? Mm. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get the text slider. Set text. Set text, editable text. Drag that in there. And make sure, hopefully it doesn't crash as soon as I compile. Uh, number of fractional digits one is fine I'd say because it does it does change of course hmm I'm I have to think about this one for a little second let's see what happens maybe it won't crash and burn Okay, it appears to be fine. Let's try it this way. Five. Five doesn't execute. So we change it. But it, it doesn't it doesn't actually do anything. So maybe we we'll want to do on text changed. Instead of on text changed, we want to do on text committed. And maybe we can actually have a look. Default enter on Nah, that's fine. Okay, this still works. Let's say we put it to five. So maybe the slider doesn't update. Let's check. Now the slider does update, <coughs> but it's not recognized. So we will also hook this up to the execute console command. That's fine. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Five. There we go. Now it also does that one. Now, if you do want it on that side of your screen, like I have it right now, then maybe you want to make sure that the scroll box is all the way to the left. Just, uh, yeah, this is fine. Compile, save. Maybe make the text even smaller. Say eight. And make this a little bit smaller as well so it, it fits more easily on there compile save yeah this, this fits easily make it a little bit bigger this is fine so now 
when you have a new console command that you want to play with just drag it in name it enter the console command if do you want a checkbox do you want a slider set the main values at the max value the default slider value it's all there you can just set that up in seconds now forever going into the future as long as you migrate um, these widgets over to your new project okay i hope that helps sorry about a little bit of confusion towards the end there i hope we all learned from that or maybe not <laughs> but then at least i learned something from it all right thank you so much for watching uh make sure to subscribe and uh yeah check out errands or something and make sure to check out william voucher as well because he makes great tutorials and uh yeah hope this helped thank you so much for watching bye bye